Okay, you guys, so let's get started. I'm going to be starting with this Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. And I'll show you the shades. There's all of these shades right here. Variety, nice and colorful. Um, they even have a black and some brow bone colors here. But I'm going to be going into this color first as soon as I prime my eyelids. So we'll get that done. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair. I'll just use my finger. Okay, and now I'm just going to set those eyelids with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. And this is also in the shade Fair, I believe. Well, it's 05, so whatever that is, I think it's Fair. Might even be porcelain. <laughs> I'm just going to set that with this powder. This powder is really nice. It's very finely milled and it does leave a nice smooth finish. Okay, so I'm going to go into that lightest shade right here with my 205, Luxie 205. If you guys watch me all the time, you know that I like to use these brushes. These are my favorite. I'm just using this as my transition color. It has a slight shimmer to it, I think. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Luxie 229 and I'm going to go into the total opposite end of the palette right here to this top shade right here. And I'm going to take that into the crease just below that pink. This is like a pinky purple. It's kind of like a fuchsia with a purple tint to it. I think I might actually take this all over my entire lid. And then I'm just going to go back in with the crease shade with my Luxie 205. And just blend this out and bring the pink back out a little. Then I'm going to take my um, BMX 430 and I'm going to go into this cobalt blue right here, just below that purpley pink. And I'm going to take that into the corner. One thing I do find with these eyeshadows is they are very pigmented, but they don't stick to the eye quite as well as I would like. That's one thing I did notice. I am going to take it slightly into the crease just so it's not too quite a bit of fallout as well. Okay, so now I'm going to take this L'Oreal Silk Kissing Me Cobalt Blue Eyeliner and I'm just going to put a little bit in that outer corner here. It's like on the lash line. I'm kind of creating the shape of a wing, but I do want to use a smudging brush. I'll go in with this Eco Tools brush right here and smudge this. Okay, so I'm going to use this brush again to kind of try to pack on that blue a little bit more. And then I'm going to be taking it into this darker shade as well, right here. It's got shimmer in it, this one. 
but it is more pigmented so I am going to be packing this right here. And then I'm going to be taking that same brush I used for the crease. Not adding any more product, just blending. Blending the edges here. Okay, so now I'm going to take this other brush that, uh, it's by e.l.f. It's another dense grease brush, and I'm going to be using this in the very darkest purple. Right here. And I'm going to take a little bit of that into the outer corner as well but like the very far outer corner. You see? Just the very outer edge of this. And I'm using this brush that I use for the blue just to take it a little bit more further in on the eyelid. And now I'm going to be taking that same eyeliner into the waterline along with this brush and a little bit of that cobalt blue eyeshadow. Just below that blue I'm going to be taking that bright pinky purple right here just underneath that shade. Okay, so I've already added my contour shade. Now I'm going to be going in with this In a Purple Haze by Wet n Wild. It's an ombre blush. You can see that it goes from like a pink to a purple. So I'm going to be concentrating mostly on the purple. Okay, well that freaked me out. You would never believe this. It's a Sunday, but I guess because of the holidays, they're delivering on Sundays, and I got an order from Sephora. I'm out of breath a little bit because I ran to the window to look out and see who it is, and then I ran back over here and ran up the stairs to answer the door. Ugh. So anyway, let's get back to this. <laughs> My son is home, so I can't say what that is, but that's for my son. For Christmas. It's not a super um, noticeable blush, but that's kind of what I like about it. Because if you do a bold look like this, for example, then it's perfect. My heart is still pounding. I didn't expect company. I don't know if you guys are like that, but if you don't expect company and somebody rings the doorbell, you kind of like panic. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this Ultra Satin Lip by ColourPop and it's called The Rabbit. I love this lipstick. I don't get a chance to wear it very often, but I think it will look perfect with this eye look. I actually did a look similar to this. I would say, I don't know, maybe a month or two ago and I posted it on Instagram and a lot of people liked it. I never did a video though, so I figured I would try to recreate the look. It's not exactly the same, but I think I was wearing this lipstick and a similar eye look. Okay guys, so I went off camera and I added my highlighter, some lashes, and some mascara on my bottom lashes. I hope you guys really like this eye tutorial. I like the way it came out. It's actually really pretty. So yeah, thank you so much for watching you guys. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.